If I had run my team into the sewer like that, I wouldn't throw a grenade at the other 29 teams and my own indirectly. So I have no intention of talking to him anytime soon. We're going to take the three picks, and given Kevin's recent performance, we expect them to be excellent picks. I think it's an act of desperation from a GM who's fighting to keep his job. This process is going to bite Edmonton in the butt someday. What if there's an oiler you want later in the season around trade deadline time? Well, Bob Murray can talk to someone there, my assistant. For a year, Kevin Lowe has been listening to that. One year of being openly bashed in the media. Lowe probably expected something after he signed Dustin Penner to a massive offer sheet, which the Ducks did not match. But a year later, Lowe finally had enough. And for the first time, he went off on Burt Friday night. Where do I begin? He's a moron, first of all. Uh, secondly, um, he really believes that, you know, any news from the NHL is good news. Secondly, or thirdly, rather, I, he loves the limelight. And I don't think anyone in hockey will dispute that. Lastly, he's in the he's in a pathetic hockey market where they can't get on any page of the newspaper, let alone the front page of the sports. So any any of this stuff carries on. This guy is an absolute media junkie, and it's it's I guess he's achieving what he wants because he gets his name and in the headlines, but the reality is I hate the fact that my name is linked to his because he's a, uh, you know, he's an underachieving, you know, wannabe in terms of success in the NHL. You know, won a Stanley Cup, great. I won six Stanley Cups. You, know, you, want, to, you want to count rings? I mean, who cares? But it's just a little pathetic that he carries on. Berkey loves the limelight. He's all bluff and, and, uh, and, loud and you know Mac T said it best I mean, he's like the Wizard of Oz you know pull the curtains away and there's not much substance here's the fact he left Dave Nonis nothing in Vancouver nothing he destroyed that team if it wasn't for Dave Nonis's incredible deal to con Mike Keenan to get Luongo in Vancouver that team was taking a nosedive two years ago I mean that's his M.O. But no one says anything about it. He goes in, into in, in the Anna. I mean, he inherits an incredible team. I'll, I'll tell you this: they have not much coming. You know, Bobby Bobby Ryan has 